<laughs> Live. All right. So welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining me. And today we're going to speak about a particular number. That number is 24.7. 20, 24.7. And why is that number so interesting? 24.7. And before we get to that number, we're going to speak about Paul Hall. We're going to speak about the squad that he selected. But that number in specific, 24.7 is the dire number that i have to speak about but before i do anything guys please remember i'm on the road to 10,000 subscriber and i want to get there before the first of january and that is just a few hours away maybe let me see what time now Oof. <laughs> i'm like eight hours away from that let's see eight hours away and possibly i think like mm, 18 subscriber away from 10k yeah, people, we can get that done. HBO special, people, give me the HBO, HBO special. Um, help a brother out, help a Jamaican brother out. Um, and also, just remember to smash the like button on the video as well. So, let's get into the details. All right, so the reason I want to speak about that number is spe in specific, um, the 24.7, is that number is Paul Hall aggregate age, the average age of Paul Hall squad, 24.7. That is the average age of Paul Al squad. Now, with this squad going to represent Jamaica, it would be one of the youngest squad overall to ever represent Jamaica. One of the youngest, youngest squad overall to ever represent Jamaica. What's so, what's so significant about that? This squad is actually younger than even the World Cup um, qualifying squad we have right now at this moment. Um, this is one of the youngest squad ever named, one of the youngest 23-man squad ever named for the reggae boys. I'm talking about the senior level, ever. Now, why is that so important? For me personally, I think this is a statement of intent made by the coach. I think it's only telling us that he's going one direction, and that is direction of youth. Now, in this in the squad, there are some there are some players that I would say are over the age bracket that a lot of people would want to see over the 30 age bracket. But I think that is just a part of football. That definitely is just a part of football. No, what we have listed, total squad size listed is actually at 27.6. That is the, the official squad that we have, excluding some of these players that, that we have right now. The official squad that is on transfer market. Valid at 71.53 um, million euros. That is what our official squad is right now. Average age is 27.7. And the squad size is, squad size is 29 personnel. Now, with this 23-man squad, the average age is 24. And as I, and as I said before, I think it's, 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 it's a significant landmark in what the what the coach wants to do and what we are going to look forward to seeing come um, in, in the future coming. Now, I'm talking about players. Let me let me list out some of the players um, under the age of 25, 25 and under. I'm going to list some of the players. I'm going to kind of break it down for you guys. I'm going to break it down just a little bit for you guys so you guys can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. All right, so let me get into the details before I do so. Let me... Um, bring up the, the tweet. Now, let me give you let me give you guys the breakdown. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of those players are under the age of twelve. I'm um, twenty five. Twelve of those players are under the age of twenty five. Let's see how much the age of thirty. So we have. 30 and above. So we have one, two, three. Only three three players in the age, in the age bracket of 30, 30 and above and above. Only three. Now under 30 and not um above 25 and under 30 would be um let me see. We have one, two, three, four, five. So you see the breakdown, people. 
So we have three players over the age of 30. We have um, five players above 25, but under 30. And we have 12 players under the age of 25. Under the age of 25. Um, let me see if I get that the total if you're correct. Um, let's see, five, eight, that's 20. Um, I think that's, that's maybe for three more. Mm, let, unless I'm getting it wrong. Let me recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's actually fifteen people. Fifteen. My bad. So fifteen is under twenty-five. Um, teenagers. We have one, two, two teenagers, and about three player, four players under the age of twenty-one. So, for me, people, I'm going to read what I said. Statement of intent made by the newly appointed Rega Boys head coach, Paul Hall, with his first 23-man squad selection against Peru. With the average age of the squad being at 24.7, it is one of the youngest squads to ever represent the uh, the, um, Jamaica at the senior level. And people, this is a landmark. So this is telling me a few things. There's a few things that this is highlighting to me. That one... Paul is looking. Paul Hall is looking towards the future. Yes, there's a few players in the squad right now that was that we would say are above the age bracket that we would want in the squad. But remember this now, people. In every squad, it doesn't matter how young some of the players are or how you don't like a particular player. Experience is key. You have to have these type of players. It's just how much experience players you have, how much players over the age bracket that you have. Where's the longevity? What is the turnover? So when 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 Paul Hall deploy a team of this of this magnitude, and it can be we, you, people can say okay because of the situation with in regards so it's not a FIFA window so players couldn't come from this or that but remember that there's a lot of players out there right now senior senior players who he could have also called senior senior players that you could also call for a protective blanket so that you don't go for such a young team let's go for the more senior senior players that we can know that we know what they have to bring to the table he's bringing some players that are unknown at this level unknown at this level the normal transition for many of these players would actually hit the two under 21s or the under 23 before they even can see the senior team that would that was a normal transition now, automatically, some of this, yeah, I know, I know for many of you guys will be coming and saying that um, because of the, the whole issue of not being a, a, a FIFA window, that is the reason why you would call these players. But just remember, just please remember that these players didn't have to get called. There's other players that he could have called. There's other players that the technical committee could have said, okay, um, we will we'll assist you getting some of these senior players so that you can guarantee at least a level of performance from these guys. There's a lot of senior players that he could have called instead of these players. There's a lot. Just as though he called Javon Watson, who was a senior player, above the age bracket that we would like. But in the same sense, he, he brings experience and call, uh, experience to the locker room. So I think, I personally think that this is a statement of intent. And going forward, I think. There's going to be, there will be some players that we might not see again wearing the colors. Because from what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing here, yes, people could say that it couldn't, it could even mean nothing at all. But I'm telling the people, some of the times things that you see don't mean nothing. Normal, those are some, those are the type of things that actually mean something. But I won't go any further, people. Please remember to smash the like button. Definitely, um, Hit that subscribe button. Help me to reach 10k people. Just a few hours, just a few hours away. And even if I don't reach it, I really, really appreciate the support. Um, it's New Year, New Year's Eve. Um, happy New Year when it comes, people. Hopefully, you guys are good and doing well. And enjoy the new year with you and your family. Lots of love, lots of blessings from the military Guna TV family to yours. Hopefully, enjoy the new year coming, a prosperous new year coming, people. And we are out.